Hey everyone, X-Men490 here, back with more Let's Play Lover, out here in this place of skyscrapers. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely my favorite level. Well, yeah, pretty much, yeah. A a any, any game that has the character going across skyscrapers is awesome in my book. And uh, I guess that would include uh, Super Mario 64. Considering that in Wet Dry World there's some big buildings. Even though they're not exactly like individual buildings. Okay, we gotta be careful here with that thing because, you know, it it'll mess with the ball and that that's absolutely a bad thing. Let's try and knock it off the cliff. Shall we? Can we? <laughs> Alright! Now that is how you do it, I guess. There's no, I, I don't think that there's anything up these ramps, even though you can go atop that building, but it's not very, not a big thing, but yeah, you and the ball and those little platforms, and yeah, I gotta be careful with that, you know, that robot thing that, whoa, holy crap, for once that actually did not throw me off a cliff, grab the freaking ball, get, for crying out loud, eh. It's a good thing that the a the AI is terrible in this game. Gosh, the AI sucks. Uh, it's like uh, pretty much what half the people complain about FPS about, or you know, like first-person shooters about. Personally, I just don't like how it's just like okay, you get a machine gun, a pistol, a rocket launcher, woohoo, and then you shoot monsters and things, whatever. It's always the same. It's always the same. Uh, usually, like maybe there's one like interesting weapon, but usually there's not. Uh, like uh, I guess in Halo, it's like that with the interesting wep some interesting weapons. But anyways, yeah, it's uh, I I'm just not into like you know moving slowly around a room and then shooting at people, or shooting at monsters. And also, uh, I, I really suck at multiplayer, so... <laughs> like, whenever I go to a friend's house and play some Halo, I'm... I'm, us I'm usually last place. I, 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 I just suck at shooters. Especially with, like, trying to do those headshots and whatnot. But, yeah. Dang my thing, yo! I mean, you know, like you see me playing this game, you know, this platforming puzzle game thing with stuff. Uh, I don't think I could have gone to that conveyor belt, could I? Ah, uh, well, you can get back to it from here! It's kind of funny how it kind of looks like a highway. <laughs> ah, phooey. Oh, and by the way, this world might end up with me uh, having a net decrease in lives. It might be so, um, yeah. Because, yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think I started this world with, what, 66 lives or so? I don't know, I think I had 66 at some point in the uh, fear world. Oh, and by the way, uh, this world or region or whatever... It's called Out of This World, yeah. I, I, I think you probably saw the name of this this world, or this region, before. Ah, alright. <laughs> Whoa! Seeing that whole thing. Uh, where's... Okay, okay, okay. The ball's okay. The ball's okay. Alright, get over here. Oh, wait a minute, I don't need that. Yeah, these are little Glover switches, apparently, because, you know, they stick out and all that. And now we can get these garbs fairly easily. Not very easily, but fairly easily. And preferably with Glover, because I think with the ball, phys the physics are kind of weird there. Oh, no, no, they're pretty much the same. Ah, old physics stuff. Oh yeah, and I really like this tune. 
freaking busy today because I'm doing a lot of stuff yeah I think you have to go over here I don't exactly know okay can you get on a freaking platform okay there's something you have to do and I well I guess hmm well I guess way up here you can get the potion there well, let's try to Somehow jump to it. No! Ah! No! That's not how you do it! Curses! Hmm. This is quite a predicament. I mean, seriously, what the heck? Maybe we have to hit the switch again? I, I, I don't exactly know. I, I think we have to bring those uh, two platforms together, you know, and see they kind of fit there. Maybe we bring the ball up to here, leave the ball there, then ground pound that switch, go on with it to uh, over here. I think that's how you do it. Let's try not to fall off. Okay, okay, okay. You're alive! Alright. Now what? Alright, quit, qu quit bouncing. Okay, now the platforms are moving, and now we can get back to the checkpoint. The platforms will be together. I think. Yes. Just like that. So I guess that, uh, that ball collecting thing potion, the, the, the red potion there, is just to throw you off of the... Whoa! That was... That threw me off. Sheesh! Gosh, level! You have to be that rude to bring those platforms in, and so big, and they don't even shake like in the in the in the, uh, the fortress of fear. I think that's what uh, that's what it's called, the fortress of fear. Well, it's just called fear, I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, it did shake, and whoa! Watch out! What the what the heck? I just. Is that just an easy glitch through the... Okay, I guess that's supposed to happen or something. Okay, let's... let's... let's not die from that thing. I think it's following us, isn't it? Okay, can we stop bouncing? Bouncing is not exactly my favorite thing to do, you know? Gosh! Ah! And falling isn't either! Gosh! For crying out loud! Ah, uh, yeah, this, this is definitely a net decrease in lives. A net decrease meaning like... Like I did get a couple lives here and there, but I lost quite a few. But hey, you know, that's where the uh, 63 or whatever, how many you have at the moment, lives come in. Okay, let's just get to the checkpoint right now. That is the mission, and the mission is accomplished. Alright, hop on to these garbs, and now we only have a few more to grab, and I think I know right where they are. Did, did the ball get hit? I don't know. It probably, maybe not. I, I, oh yeah, I think I see, I think I see a uh, bandage on it. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, there's uh, 12 garbs around here, you know, three, three sets of four. And getting them all will uh, complete our set and complete it for the levels in the game. The main level says. Now this wall happens to be a one-way wall. Okay, first of all you have to be kind of like that. Now I think you have to do it like this. Can yeah, I. I guess. Uh, that seems to be it. And that does happen to work. <laughs> and, and then the camera can't even go that way. 
Oh, so tired. All right, and it's time for the boss of Out of This World. A giant robot. How the heck are we gonna beat this thing? Hmm. How indeed. You see, it is very dangerous. As, of course, if you get crushed by it, it's an instant death. And there's another attack that uses as an instant death. That! It's basically an atomic bomb sort of thing. Yeah, it's pretty mu it pretty much is. Like, even if you're far away, well, if you're kind of far away, it kind of pushes you. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, you see, uh, you see the, uh, arrows there, you have to, uh, bring old Glover over there. Which is easier said than done, considering that the ball pops when it's under the blade things there. But, yeah, this, w when you know what to do, it's not exactly hard. Try to go after that, uh, robot. Hopefully, hopefully we won't get killed by that explosion. See, even, well, like, even if you're far away, it pushes you a little. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we stick around here, and then it will walk back, and we'll go to where it walks back. And then we will sneak inside and infiltrate the giant robot. As soon as it drops the bomb. The bomb! Alright. Drops the bomb, it walks back quickly. Do do. Alright, come on! Come on, Glover! Whoopee! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, in a field recording, I kinda glitched up there and. I don't know, there's a lot of glitches in this game, and apparently there's something moving around there. I don't know, what's with that? Yeah. So, this is actually a cutscene, because this game apparently could use them. I mean, yeah, there's not that many in this game, huh? So yeah, there's Cross Stitch. We're gonna shoot you down, you dirty... Glove, monster, evil person. And more cutscene. Now it flies off. So where's it going? Ah, behind the wall, there is... Another giant robot! And that is the actual final boss of the game. It's orange and, 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 and purple. Because apparently it's... I don't know what's with those colors, uh, but, you know, this whole world has been like a crazy color fest. So, uh, essentially, you have to try to hit the arms, I think. Uh, I, I think that's what you have to do. And you can try not to die, but uh, it's, it's, it's ridiculously hard not to die. Essentially, you have to keep on throwing the balls at him, and then after... A few hits on his arms, he does that. It's actually a very easy boss, especially if you have a good 10 lives or so. Oh, right, right, it drops uh, little, like, little bombs down there that I didn't, you didn't see yet. Okay. Oh, and that's it for that boss.